Hello, this is Mercedes Fernandez Alvaladejo. I am the head of the Standardization and Research Unit of the International Olive Council, IOC for short. So what is the, the IOC? First of all, uh, we will explain, we will start our present, my presentation today, explaining what is the IOC and the main activities, and then uh, explaining in few words what is the standardization, nutrition, and health. Uh, in in our organization, the, the, the work that we do in, in our organization. And then we will um, also try to explain in few words about olive oil composition, flavor, and olive oil tasting. And then to add with the, probably the most important for you that it will be the olive oil in, in the gastronomy. So what, uh, what are the most important activities uh, what is the Olive Oil International Olive Council and the, the, the main activities of our uh, organization? And the, the IOC is the only international organization in the field of, of olive oil and table olives. It was uh, created under the auspices of the United Nations in 1959 and is based in Madrid since that time. During this time, uh, we update the, the international agreement, and nowadays, uh, we are administering the 2015 international agreement that entered into force in 2017 and include uh, the, um, not only the producing countries, but also the consumer countries, importer countries, and also uh, consider the IOC as a documentation and research center and the focal po point for all sectorial stakeholders. Nowadays, we are 44 countries from 18 members of the European Union that, as you know, uh, has 27 member countries. In November, we will be two more because Saudi Arabia and Azerbaijan will join the Arab family. And we're still increasing and increasing uh, and also having the possibility to share our knowledge, to share our activities with our servers uh, coming from different countries, from South America, from United States, from Australia, from Japan, Brazil, China, different countries. And also we have the advisory committee uh, that articulates a permanent, um, permanent contact with the private sector. And we also met with them twice a year. Uh, our current membership represents the 94% of the global olive oil, of olive oil production, the 72% of world consumption, and the 96% of the export. We have three main branches of activities, the standardization and research, olive growing, olive, olive technology and technical cooperation, and olive oil promotion and economics. Uh, Today I will focus into them. I will focus more on standardization and research um, to, to, in order to, to ensure the quality, uh, the quality control of the product, the, the, the facilitate the international trade, protect consumer rights, and prevent frauds. And also, uh, what we try is to harmonize different standards all around the world in order to facilitate this international trade and to conduct uh, and to, to conduct all kinds of activities in, in order to develop the physical, chemical, and organic testing and the knowledge of the composition and quality of the, of the products. Uh, we have to say that uh, the International League Council is the forum of excellence of for the international scientific community in the area of olives and olive oil. Also, we have a very important objective that is the, the knowledge of olive growing, and, uh, olive technology and technical cooperation. Uh, nowadays, we focus in uh, to promote environmental conservation and um, the sustainability of the, of, uh, the olive tree. And we promote technical cooperation, we conduct activities of identification, preservation, and genetic resources, and we foster technology transfer uh, through training activities uh, with the different fields of the olive oil sector. And for promotion, we try to promote the consumption of olive products 
to disseminate information in relation with trade standards uh, of the International Council. We support international and regional activities. We examine the world balances of uh, the market and we disseminate economic data. About consumer information and education, we're focusing primarily in two main aspects, the health and the gastronomic aspect of only uh, And we, we do it organizing and participating in scientific meetings, disseminating uh, scientific information on the standards and biological properties of olive oil, and to product uh, and distribute printed and audiovisual material. And to also through our website, because we have in this website um, a specific area, not only for in general, for all our standards, but also we have the, the olive health information system with all the scientific information about olive oil and health. You can find also in the IOC uh, website. Uh, so let's talk a little bit uh, in the second part about the standardization of regional health. Those are our standards, or uh, as I said before, you can find all the standards, all the methods, all the documents of the IOC, absolutely free of charge on the IOC website. Uh, and they are designed to encourage international trade uh, and to, to prevent fraud. Uh, what we do is to update to our standards for olive oils, olive pomasoils, and table olives, and we try to harmonize the domestic and international standards particularly with the Codex Alimentarius standard. Here you can find in the screen, this is our standard and this is a Codex Alimentarius standard that is based. Also, we work very close in close cooperation with the ISO, in particular with the ISO TC34 Subcommittee 11 that works for fats and oils. And all the methods uh, from the IOC pass automatically fire for by track change to track uh, fast track to, to the to the ISO. And then it's very important for us today to 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 know about designations and definitions. Uh, the definitions are stipulated in our agreement but then are also uh, included in the Codex Alimentarius standard that is the reference for the World Trade Organization, and also uh, are included in international legis legislations, uh, for instance, uh, EU legislation and other uh, domestic standards as US standard or Australia or all um, other non-member countries. Nowadays, we have other countries uh, developing also standards uh, in the, in the um, uh, taking the IOC standards reference. So here you can find all the methods of analysis in the physiochemical in the, in the left side of the screen and uh, sensory analysis, sensory methods in the right of the screen. Uh, we have two types of quality criteria, the physical chemical parameters and the sensory parameters. is the only food that includes the sensory analysis in the official legislation for the classification of olive oils, of virgin olive oils. And also we have the purity criteria for the detection of frogs and, and mixtures with uh, other kind of olive oils or refined oils or other vegetable oils or pomace oils. Here you can find, I, I will not focus today on that, but you can find this physical chemical, these pure quality parameters and the sensory parameters are the organic assessment of virgin olive oils. And you can find, some of them in the label of the bottles in the supermarket. Here are the different, this is only to show you what is quality. To have a, uh, to ensure the quality of olive oil, it's very important that each link of the chain is perfect. And to have until from the beginning of the, for the plant to the, to the, to the supermarket or to the uh, end product, to have absolutely all the steps that should be uh, in the best, uh, um, in the compliance with the best practices. So many factors define quality of oils, the area of production, the maturity conditions, harvest period, thermos storage, and extraction. Also the limits of these quality and quality parameters are on the basis of years of scientific research from the main researchers in, in, the, in the field from different countries. Uh, it's very important that 
to take into account the whole production to ensure that these limits are uh, valid for the whole, the, the, for, for all the whole um, world, for the countries from the whole world, because you can imagine that the different varieties, depending on where they are produced, has different, uh, could have different um, parameters. So it's very important to take into account the, 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 the whole production. So those are the main quality uh, criteria, acidity, esters, absorbance in ultraviolet, perfect value, and uh, organic assessment, that is smell and taste. And we will talk about the method of organic assessment. It's very important to, to know that this is a method that is a human method because you don't use uh, any, any electronic tool, but should be uh, carry out in the very, very um, strict conditions that are included in the method. Uh, this method and these characteristics of the, of the tasting room, of, the, of each small, uh, of all the process are included in the, in the IOC uh, method and you can find it in the, in the IOC uh, website. So here they are, as you said, as we said, uh, the virgin olive oil is some olive juice, the olive juice from olive that came from the olive tree. And the, to be, to be uh, the different categories of virgin olive oil, you can find it in this, in this um, slide, are extra virgin, virgin, ordinary virgin, and lampant virgin. What you can find in the supermarket are only these two, First, extra virgin olive oil and virgin olive oil. These two are fit for human consumption. One, no defects at all and fitness. The other, that you can find also in the US supermarket, is, has, will have small defects, but most of the time not important for the consumer and uh, should be. Uh, should, should be fruitness because it's an olive juice. And then these two, these should be refined before use, before, before consumption, uh, to be consumed, before uh, to be used for human consumption, it's a long time virgin olive oil. And the ordinary virgin olive oil is not found in, in US market because only in some countries you can find it. It's included in the codex standard and in the IOC standard by the moment, but uh, not anymore in the US. So these are the main uh, categories of virgin olive oil. Extra virgin olive oil is the best quality, no defects and fritness. Virgin olive oil, small defects and fritness. And ordinary virgin olive oil and unpacked virgin olive oil, you will not find it in the, in the supermarket. Uh, but uh, there are two categories that uh, in some countries are not fit for consumption, but in the IOC, you can still have in the ordinary virgin olive oil. Lampante virgin olive oil, you will never find it for uh, directly uh, for human consumption. It should be refined before use and has a strong effect. So those are the, the, the documents you can find in the, in the website. And the quality criteria for sensory evaluation, you include it. There are all the different parts of this. Uh, and the main positive attributes, they are fitness, bitterness and pungency. And these three uh, should be, independent of the, of the intensity of, the, of this attribute, should be robust, medium, or delicate. Also, you will find different, uh, like the green fruitness, red, red fruitness, depending of the, of the, of the kind of, uh, of if the, if the uh, flavor reminds the uh, a red fruit or a green fruit, and also well balanced on light oil. These are the different optional labeling provisions that you can find in our method. Apart this, no other could be used in the in the lab. So sometimes you can find some uh, other um, labeling provisions in the label, but they are not not uh, official and they are not allowed. So 
uh, as we said before, these are the different definition and designations, and we have different numerous guarantee mechanisms method to ensure the the quality of the of the taste. And this is the the profile sheet that you can find, and this is to, to monitor it. What we what we do is we cannot analyze all the as I see all the, the, the oils in all around the world, all we do is to um, to have laboratories and, and, and sensory pan testing panels all around the world. And we organize uh, tests and exams every year, two for sensory analysis and one for, um, for uh, physical chemical analysis in order to uh, give the recognition of the IOC. So nowadays we have all these uh, laboratories for physical chemical testing, we have 112, and for sensory analysis we have 93. This is a big in 2000. We, we uh, publish this list that is in our website every year after the, to pass this test, this proficiency test. Also, we organize the Mario Salinas Quality Award to, uh, to different awards to the, the best olive oils uh, that uh, present apply to this award every year. It's an institutional organization free of charge. Everyone will apply. And also the rules are, are in the website. And also uh, we, we, we have a different seat for this award and we have a, a quality control program for imported countries and we uh, monitor, uh, we, ha we have a self-monitoring system about 300 samples per year in U USA, Canada, Australia, Brazil, and Japan since 1991. So we, we have to take into account that nowadays, at the beginning, olive trees were only in the Mediterranean Sea, but nowadays we have olive trees all around the world, of course, in the US. Studying this and um, we have to say that this Mediterranean diet was rediscovered by scientific research in the promotion of, uh, of chronic disease. And uh, they realized in, in the 50s, in the US, in the Harvard University, they realized that the, the countries where the incidence of chronic diseases is one of the lowest and the life, life expectancy is one of the highest were those uh, that consume uh, olive oil that consume that are the Mediterranean countries. So these were the, the countries we have to, uh, the, the first study was a seven countries study that demonstrate that the, that the, the people living in, in Greece, in Creta, where the, the, where the longevity was the, the best and uh, was a, uh, um, I studied published in 1970, and they realized that uh, the incidence of cardiovascular disease was very, very low in these countries, and reducing not only the bad cholesterol, but increasing the good cholesterol, the HDL cholesterol, is the only fat that reduce only the bad LDL cholesterol and increase the HDL cholesterol, increase the triglycerides, and decrease the, the, the risk of thrombosis and the platelet aggregation. So it's very, very, nowadays, the studies I told you before, we have the, this Olive Health Information System on our website. You can find thousands and thousands and thousands of uh, researchers, of articles in the main uh, magazine, scientific magazine about the, the evidence of the uh, olive oil and the prevention of vascular disease uh, is the best uh, kind of oil that you can use. The unsaturated fatty of olive oil and also the, um, the antioxidants that we have in, in virgin olive oil is the, the protect against uh, cardiovascular disease. Also, as you can see, it was presented uh, by Professor Walter Willett in 1993. This uh, pyramid, which you can see, the olive oil should be used daily, and as it was in the traditional eating habits in Crete in the 60s. In the Food and Drug Administration, it was it was uh, in the healthy health claims. Uh, it was. Um, said that limited and non-conclusive scientific evidence suggests that eating about two tablespoons 
about 23 grams of olive oil, daily may reduce the risk of coronary heart disease due to the monounsaturated fat of olive oil. Also, the antioxidant properties of olive oil prevent um, uh, chronic diseases and also increase life expect expectancy. Uh, is the polyphenols, the lignans, the squalene that are very rich in the olive oil. And of course, the prevention of cancer was demonstrated in different kinds of uh, cancer, prostate, pancreas, endometrium, and of course, breast. I don't want to focus too much today in this part, but it's very important to be in mind the health effects and also the digestive system and the obesity. This is very important to know that even if it's a fat, but people who consume more olive oil suffer less obesity and the long last the weight lose during more time. It's very important that the use of olive oil increase the use of other health products as vegetables or um, or, uh, or fruits. So this is in, in one slide, the main effects of uh, uh, olive oil in health. And as you can see in the, in the olive health information system, you have a part for consumer, another for researcher, as I can show you here. You can also uh, inscribe in the newsletter. It's, it's free of charge and, and you can have all the information with is the University of Nadova together with the Harvard University that works there. So why to consume olive oil? Because it's a natural food use without any chemical processing. processing. It also has a distinctive taste, encouraging the consumption of other healthy products as vegetables. It's rich in antioxidants and vitamins, uh, protecting against free radicals. It's uh, a healthy food eaten that decreased cholesterol, decreased triglycerides, and prevents from uh, against various diseases, as cardiovascular diseases, cancer, diabetes, blood pressure, digestive problems, and enhance the absorption of omega-3 fatty acids, of lycopene, uh, increase life expectancy, and uh, protect the cognitive function. What about olive oil composition? Why is so rich and so healthy this product? Well, uh, we have to, to we know that in a, in a the necessary intake of fat in in the diet in our diet should be around the thirty percent. It's very important the kind of fat, not only the the amount of fat, but the kind of fat. And this fat should be mainly monounsaturated fatty uh, fatty acids. Uh, we should avoid as much as possible, the saturated fatty acid, the trans, and we should focus on monounsaturated fatty acid. Here you have different kinds of fats uh, from animal sources, from the plant sources, but now we will focus from vegetal sources. We have the different seeds, oils, and we have olive oil that is rich in monounsaturated fatty acid. You will talk about uh, fatty uh, fat uh, is we have a molecule of glycerol and free fatty acid. These all, uh, the, the main uh, characteristic of the olive oil is that this monounsaturated fatty acid means that has only one double bound. What means that is more stable than the polysaturated fatty acid that the seed salt. For that reason, the main, uh, the main fatty acid present in the in olive oil is the olic acid that is a monounsaturated fatty acid and is about uh, 55 and 83 percent of the of uh, fatty acid in, in olive oil. In olive oil and this is the difference a table with the difference maybe it could be interesting for someone to check which are the different uh, fatty acid in each in each um, and it's very important to know that the fat function because uh, the fat gives energy and protection and transport different vitamins as A, D, A, K, E, K, K. So if we talk about virgin olive oil, we have a fraction. The main fraction is the, the fatty acids, the saponifia the fraction, but we have a small one that is different for, uh, is the only um, olive oil, the, the only oil that has this antioxidant fraction because doesn't need to be 
refined to be used. So it, this is the unsaponifiable and is only one to percent of the mineral components. It's antioxidants and vitamins, tocopherols, phenols, hydroxytyrosol, and, and oleuropein and carotenoids. So what is this virgin olive oil? This virgin olive oil, as we said before, is the fruit of the of the of the olive. It has a different uh, part of the fruit, and we take the olives, shine, we extract it by physical means, and we obtain the two parts, the uh, juice and the homas oil. These are the different kinds of virgin olive oils. We have to focus on these two that you will find in the supermarket in US. And then we have also another oils that are the blends. As we said before, what is a refined olive oil? When the lampant is, as we said before, when an oil is not very good quality, has a lot of defects, should be refined before to be uh, used to, to be uh, used for human consumption. In this case, we have the refined olive oil. If this refined olive oil is blended with an edible virgin olive oil, we have what we call olive oil composed by refined olive oil and virgin olive oil. This is not virgin olive oil and is what we can find in the supermarket in the US, sometimes as olive oil and other times as pure olive oil. But we have to say that this, this is a blend with refined olive oil and edible virgin olive oil. What is the virgin olive oil quality? If we talk about tasting, we have to, to, to distinguish between why we taste olive oil. We can taste it at hedonic focus just for marketing, for, um, for fun with friends, to, to learn more and more about olive oil, or we can have it as official um, analytical focus and official classification for olive oil. And for that, we use the IOC method. And we use this uh, tasting glass, and we can differentiate between, between this uh, according to the sensory attributes, the sensory attributes, the five categories of virgin olive oils. The star virgin olive oil is the olive juice with sensory defects and thinness. The virgin olive oil is the olive juice showing small defects and sometimes and not uh, uh, detectable by the, the consumer. And ordinary virgin olive oil that is only in uh, the IOC standard and the codex standard, but not in, not in the US standard. And the lampant virgin olive oil that is present sensory defects in a high intensity, and which make it necessary for feed to be industrially refined. So what about sensory analysis? We need, first of all, we need to smell olive oil. We can count, as you can see here, according to, depending of where you, you need to put the, the glass, you will give an, um, uh, different points from a 10 centimeter scale. Then you do a retrosal, you drink a little bit, you do like this, you do an aspiration, and this pass directly to the, and you can smell and detect all the, 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 the volatile compounds, the gustative sensitivity. So the three of them are essential, and then you have to, to drink it. So you can find the different parts of the tongue, the different, and the, those are the main, um, uh, the main, the, the main categories for the origin olive oil. The right friendness, the raw spring friendness, the medium rich friendness, the delicate. Now we pass to the last part of this presentation that is probably the most important for you, but it was very important also to know about composition, about the different categories, about why we need to use olive oil as main source of fat for gastronomy not only for health benefits that we saw before, not only for um, uh, taste, because increase the taste and the flavor of all the, the other foods, but also because you will see, you can play. It's like a, 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 a palette of uh, a painting that you can take different olive oils, Normally, I, what I propose, I suggest everyone is to, not only to, to have one olive oil, but to have, to play with different olive oils, different varieties, different uh, flavors, and to use one or other, depending on the kind of, of the dish you want, or depending on the, of the, also the, the culinary um, practices, or depending of, of the day. 
because there are some days that you want to taste one kind of oil and other days, other kind of oil. So this is very important to, to, uh, to be sure that if you use olive oil, you will uh, use a healthy, a tasty, uh, sustainable product. And this is uh, the best choice that you can do for an oil. You can, we said before, it's not only good for uh, as oil, as oil, but also increase the, so the consumption of vegetables and other healthy um, foods and make it more, uh, more palatable and more tasty. And also increase the absorption of good nutrients and healthy nutrients as lycopene from, from tomatoes or omega-3 fatty acid from trees. Also, uh, contrary to what happened with wine, that uh, many gastronomic critics or, or um, chefs or uh, people in the world of, are very, very familiar and know, have, have a, a, a deep knowledge about wine. In olive oil, it's more difficult to find people that really know or uh, people that will, really will focus or will give the importance of, of this product. Maybe sometimes I, 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 during years and years, I was thinking about that. I said, why? When you go to a restaurant, you pay attention to the wine, you, you choose the wine, but you don't, you, you take the, the bottle of, of, uh, of olive oil that is on the table and you don't pay, you don't ask, you are not so critic with the olive oil. It's, because maybe because it's, it's, you don't pay for it, but you pay for the wine. Maybe it's for that, maybe, I don't know. I don't, uh, I don't know exactly what is the reason, but you should learn what, something very important is taking into account the, the large variety of uh, olive oils around the world and the wide range of possibilities of uh, creating dishes and seasoning with this olive oils is very important and is very interesting to play with these olive oils and to know more and more about them. It's very important to, to have in mind that uh, we have to, we can play with the different olive oils of, if we were in a painter's palette and having in the kitchen, having it at the restaurant, having different varieties. We have here some varieties, but they are depending on the country, depending on the area of production. You can find different uh, oils of different, um, and each of them will have a specific use, not only for different, um, different techniques of, of uh, gastronomic techniques, but also of different dishes. And it's very, very important to use, and to use it by contrast, we will see that in, a, in another, um, we can use it, we can see different techniques, we can use it in raw, and we can use it in dressings, we can use it in, in stewed and salted, we can use it for different, um, absolute for meat, for fish, for vegetables, for absolutely every kind of um, dish, but it will increase, it will give you different um, flavors, not only at the beginning, but it, each it's original olive oil has different nuances of different fruits. So it's very interesting to play with all that. And to use it also for frying with olive oil because it's very uh, important the cross forms outside the form that uh, stops the oil penetrating inside the food. And uh, the food fried with olive oil contains less fat and is more recommended for controlling obesity, for example. And uh, it could be used more and more times before undergoing. Um, uh, bad processes or, uh, and it's very important also to preserve olive oil in a dark cool place, uh, watching the best before date, but not more than two years and um, watching also the, 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 the uh, harvest period and the different, it's very important to preserve it from light from light and, and heat. It's very, very important. And 
for that, we have also uh, guidelines for consumers in our website, absolutely free, and you can find the different kind, each variety of olive oil can be used for different uses. For example, scavenging olive oil for raw foods, for dressings, fish, pasta, salads, mayonnaise, for soups, virgin olive oil for roast meats, marinade, and pickled food, pastries, and frying. Uh, olive oil that was composed by refined olive oil and virgin olive oil for preserves, for pickling, sauces, and frying. And olive pomace oil that is composed by refined pomace oil and virgin olive oil is good for industrial frying. As you can see, it's kind of oil. It could be used for different purposes. And also, um, different virgin olive oils could be used for you know, each one for different dish. And if you um, cook, the same dish with different olive oils, you can see the difference. We did that in, in promotional activities in the past, uh, cooking, for example, a gazpacho or a salad or whatever with different olive oils. And you can see the difference depending on the olive oil that you are using. It seems sometimes a di completely different uh, um, food. And so, and playing with that, you can, you can sometimes you prefer to have complementary olive oil pairing or you can have pairing by contrast. Both of them could be good the same time that you use it for, for sweet or you sometimes you mix uh, sweet with salty products. It's the same with olive oil. You can use more ripe with other uh, kind of uh, with, with fruits, for example, in a fruit salad, or you can use very uh, interesting, the contrast with a intensely fruity with a fruit salad, or you can use, you can play with that, and depending on your, your preference, you can choose. And also a more bitter olive oil will harmonize better, for example, with the stronger meat, with nylon, with smoke and a fatty food. A spicy olive oil harmonize better with spicy and spicy foods, crustacean or shellfish, a sweeter olive oil with a white fish, mollusk for white meat, or a more herbaceous olive oil will be, will be better for salads and light meats. And um, for pairings, you can, I can, this is some pairings that I, I, I propose, but you can play, as this, we said before, there is not uh, a rule uh, for light green fruity. Uh, it could be good for, for, uh, for meat, for, for uh, fried and sauteed food, for seafood, a medium green fruity for uh, and more rich in aroma, repelling almonds and fresh herbs. So it will be good for fish preserve, for salad, gazpacho, meat, fish, gazpachos. Uh, intense green fruitness, it will be more intense flavor. We call it wood, grass, or green fruit. And it will enhance the flavor of sausages, jerkies, ham, uh, cheeses. And, and raw food, and it will be good also for frying. And white fruity, uh, it will be more aroma of apple, apple, banana, or almond. It will be ideal for cold salads, sauces, mayonnaise, vinaigrettes, fish, seafood, as well as desserts. And in general, in any dish, we, uh, you don't want to have a very strong flavor. And this, as conclusion and recommendation, is yes, knowing and understanding that olive oil is becoming more than just a fat. Over the past, uh, the, over the past decade, uh, our oils have evolved a lot in terms of uh, evolved, have uh, improved a lot in terms of quality and packaging design. Uh, the consumers are beginning to know that each region has different type, kinds of oil. Absolutely, all countries could have a very good olive oils and not so good olive oils, and. As we said before, it depends of the of the different steps of the of the quality chain, and it's very important. There are also great and bad harvests depending on the climate of the so many issues. Of the the we have to say that today, regional oil is part of a certain art of living, and we have to bear in mind that now. A days that we spend in last few uh, years of the uh, of the um, COVID, more time we spend more and more time at home cooking. Uh, we have to say that the consumption uh, increased because we have to spend more time with the family, more time cooking, more time uh, 
taking care of us. So in that moment that we, we uh, are spending more time at home, we are using more olive oil. And olive oil is, is uh, the, the core and the, 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 the main ingredient of the Mediterranean diet and should be used and should be uh, as, as uh, the best source of fat of our diet. So as Glenn de Covian said, uh, that was our scientific uh, uh, advisor for until he passed away in 1995. Olive oil is not the universal panacea, but it's a healthy and natural food that should be the base of our diet. And with this sentence and this uh, video, I will end my presentation today and inviting you to learn more and more about olive oil. Thank you very much. And we are available if you need any further information and also to our website in 3W International Thank you.